This video is brought to you by Diamond Pacific Tool Corporation. Diamond Pacific is America's favorite diamond tool, wheel, and lapidary machine manufacturers. For nearly half a century, Diamond Pacific has set the industry standard for diamond lapidary equipment. Join the majority of professional lapidaries and choose Diamond Pacific products such as their Nova Wheels, Pixie, Genie, and Titan Gem Makers, as well as their wide selection of other high quality lapidary diamond products. Check out Diamond Pacific today and find out why they're considered America's premier diamond lapidary tool manufacturers. Okay, so we are still here at the Rocky Mountain Gem and Mineral Show on the Mineral Mile. Sprite just picked up some of these beautiful Zambian scepters. I love these. Beautiful scepters from Zambia. Some of these, I believe, can even have in hydros, believe it or not. This one's had its neck broke, <laughs> but still really nice. This is a beautiful green kunzite. It's a cool aquamarine there. A little bit different, a less jewel, I guess you'd call it, right? Here's a scepter and matrix. I just sealed the deal on some of these beauties. These awesome folks here. These are awesome. These aquamarine. Some fantastic chatoyants there on that axis. Is it chatoyants? Not everything is chatoyants. There's other types of color play and light play. An angular essence is that even a thing? It's a nice, um, is it Wilma Rubble? What's it, Betty Rubble? Is that is that Wilma Rubble? Flintstone. Wilma Flintstone, that's right. These are really, really great. I love when Sprite spends a lot of money. And he starts sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating because I don't know if we're going to sell 
any of this. You will. You have you have some of the best tasting crystals. Yeah, but I don't know if I want to. I want it's to all shine. it's all talk until the walk walks, huh? Until the walk walks. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I'm not walking. Talk is cheap, is what I meant to say. It's a really unique piece. The rhodochrosite sheet is, is fantastic. The pyrite on calcite over there is really, really awesome. Grossler Savarites. Looks like they got quite a bit of the Zambian material. What's the green growing on there? Is that, um, I have no idea. I don't even know what that crystal is. Yeah, it's that one right there. It's the type of stuff you see at the main show. The three-day show, the original Tucson Jim and Mineral show. Everything else, all these dozens of different venues are just kind of popped up around them. Now that now that there are so many different specialty shows, um, a lot of people don't even do the main show anymore. The tip is so cool. Some really interesting looking moldavites, super dark. Not as expensive as I thought they would be. I saw a video of um, Kadon cutting some of this material. It definitely is cut worthy, you know. Some people will be like, oh, don't cut them, but you know, if they have weird tips or other stuff like that, go ahead and cut it. Have fun. So it looks like this whole tray of sujolite is $888. Definitely wouldn't really want to cut that piece there with the nice jersey. Um, 
These are all fractured. They're not sliced. Cool specimen pieces. This one on the far right is about the quality of the pieces that I have. A lot of different variations. The color isn't always the, you know, what's creating the quality. Uh, this one right here, I think some people would consider the highest quality in this batch. Such a simple looking mineral. Damned to be cabbed. This is about the quality or even a little less quality than the pieces my grandfather had that I was crushing up with a hammer to put in these rosewood hearts I was making when I first started working lapidary. Grandpa, uh, never mind. Me crushing him up, he's a very good man. <laughs> he forgave me for it. Mr. Medina is just a treasure of a person. This material just got so expensive. It's hard to believe. Here's a really interesting piece. I imagine this is from Afghanistan. That dark color there, that's the ultramarine. That's the real deal color that people chase in lapis. Just a few shades lighter can be the difference between hundreds of dollars. When I first got in the scene, which isn't anywhere as long as Sprite's been in the scene, um, Lapis was by the piece. Now it's higher quality, this is definitely by weight. It's always unfortunate to see anything go that route, but everything will probably be destined to, you know, at least most common minerals. That's just a really nice specimen grade of Lapis from Afghanistan. Very special piece. Is this what they consider the Japan Law Crystals? I don't really feel comfortable. Sprite, can you give me a hand? Can you do me a big Still favor? Smell. Can you put this down for me? I don't feel comfortable. That is a great piece. Is it? I was laying down. It was. Yeah. Is that what you'd call the like the Japan Law stuff? The what? Japan Law. I don't know that. I would call this tabby. Tablature. <laughs> tabby cat quartz. Tab tablature. variation over here. These are all the tabbies, huh? Yeah, I don't think it's alligator quartz. Somebody might call that alligator No, quartz. that's a little different. That's a little different, yeah. Wow. Is that hidden night there? That big yellow one? I don't know. It's definitely the type of pieces that sell houses, though, huh? Go! <laughs> He literally 
scared the stuff out of himself oh, and God, he's yeah. got to go use the bathroom. Fantastic material. Is it from New York or is it Pakistani? Um, is this from Pakistan? These ones? Yes. Fantastic. Hey, Jane. What about this one? Yes, give one. How much is that? So we're in the Oracle neighborhood of shows. There's a lot of different ones around here. Mineral cities around here, which is why we actually came here. I just wanted to share this awesome library section. Super affordable for how old some of these are. Five, ten, twenty dollars. Priceless information and a lot of the stuff that might be in the book you can't really find online sometimes. This is a cool book in Spanish. Emeraldas de Colombia. Zeolites. The Misunderstood Mineral. <laughs> oh, it's like a children's book. That would be a good children's book. Oh, Little Z Zio. No Zio has no friends. <laughs> Show me the, open the, there's something, there's an illustration there. Whoa. Whoa. Crystals, not pistols. Agreed. Sounds good. She's He's spitting up some um, tobacco chaw. Yeah. Uh, she is not having it. But not. she is having it. But she's not taking it. Interesting. <laughs> I was admiring this over here. It's a Chinese mineral book from Hunan. Oh, yes, please. Teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, the book is backwards? No. Oh, yes. And upside down. Isn't that supposed to be like a... Like... It's how Arabic is written and Japanese is written and... It's, uh, uh, they all have... It's supposed to be better for the brain or something. I don't know about that, but... Uh... Very cool. Only 30 bucks. I just Here's love it. I want them all. Gemology of Mongolia? Yeah, and you were just talking about both of the writing stuff. Yeah, I believe it's supposed to be better for the mind. The the yeah, type that's writing. The English, they were like, Who <laughs> Fantastic. Take a quick little peek in there. Excuse me. I guess these ones want to be seen. Travels in India, are these based around minerals or? But there are also crystals, not pistols, books. Fantastic. Sorry, Mike. Great Mark collection. You have a fantastic library. Thank you. Well, hopefully, I will have less of a library soon. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I hope that's the plan. Did you personally collect all of these over the years? No, these books all came from Rock Courier, who was the founder of JTI, the company, uh, the wholesale company here. Uh, oh, he amazing. died in 2015, and um, one of the, he left the library and other things to to us to Mindat.org. So we're now we've been going through keeping the things we need to keep and selling the rest. I imagine you must have a real nice section of the things you're going to keep. Oh well, not so much a section. It's all in boxes at the moment because we don't have anywhere to store it, <laughs> uh, anywhere to put it on shelves, which is a shame. So um, we are. Um, it's actually, I've, I've been sorting out the three boxes behind you of things. I've, as I've been going through all the boxes, pulling out all the things that we need to keep. So all the ones under there are the ones which I can't sell because, you know, we need them. Um, it's nice of you to preserve them and keep them. Well, I mean, my view is if we've got a lot of these books, the older books particularly, are all online. So if we've got access to these things as a PDF online, that's really all I need. I'd rather, if someone wants to collect the book and have it as an artifact, that's great. They can keep it. Um, but um, we 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 need the information. That's the important thing. And the PDF is just as good as, as that. And will you be putting? Time. Will you be scanning some of these and creating PDFs? Yes. Yeah. That is. That's what we've been doing. Such a service to humanity. 
Well, the, the, obviously the, the main issue is a lot of this is still in copyright, so um, we can scan things in and use the information ourselves, but we cannot, well even that is dubious depending on the, the, the copyright, but, but we, what we absolutely cannot do is pass those on to anyone else. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, Here but, but old things like this, uh, some of these old books we can scan in, I mean, crazy things, I mean this here is uh, a Uk an old Ukrainian language mineralogy book, two volumes of that, um, and that we've scanned in actually. You have a Mongolian one over here, it looks like it's in Arabic and in whatever yeah, language you speak in Mongolian. Yes, they have, um, yeah, they've got, um, Good yes, like a, an Arabic text, a Chinese text, and I think they've, yes, so there's like an Arabic script and a Chinese script, and obviously they have um, English in here as well. Here in the States, kind of um, the more common pieces of literature that we had was the lapidary journals. Yes. And I have almost every one, and I would love to scan them all into the internet and provide them for free, but I've talked to some lawyers and they said they don't think that it really would be a poss possibility. Uh, a company owns it that even though they don't make it anymore, it's a yep. big mother company and they own the information. And I guess we have to give them the benefit of the doubt that maybe they want to sell that information down the line, even mm -hmm. if it's in 200 years from now, who knows? Yeah, I mean, for example, I mean, there's... there's um, in here somewhere here we go so this here is a book which has got um, items selected out of a historical epitome journal so this was published when was it 19 uh, 1964 was the first printing of this so even then they were reusing the old information from their earlier issues and putting it into books and there's nothing stopping well having said that the epitome journal has now stopped printing the paper edition they only do stuff online but i guess what they want to do is take their historical content and put it online um there's a problem though even sometimes even they can't do that i can't say for certain about the Piddly journal but when the um the authors um, signed the contracts back in the 50s and 60s there was no digital world so they were very much the contracts were all based on for print so there was nowadays they look back at these contracts and it's contracts written for people who are now dead by people who are now dead um, for a magazine published 60 years ago that is really hard for anyone to understand even if they have the rights to put it online they may not so everything is stuck in limbo um, um, until you reach this period of the, uh, the material ending up in the public domain. I gotta ask my friend, do you take a card by chance? I do, yes. Awesome. I gotta... Um, what is a book plate? A, when you have a library, you put a book plate in it so that uh, if someone else borrows your book, they remember who it belongs to. Oh, nice. Kind of like a what, library card, not in the exactly, library. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's traditional and some... Um, Sometimes they can add value to a book, and some of the older books, I don't know about this one, just putting this one at random. Um, no, this one doesn't, but some of the older books can have multiple book plates where it's been through various uh, libraries in the past. Hey, I have a quick question for you. Sure. We saw a book yesterday, it was called Lemurian Crystals of the World, or something like that. Oh, yes. Um, I think you have it. The only ones, to be honest, all of that stuff will either be in the $2 or the $1 box, uh -huh. if we've got anything like that. Um, okay. I Perfect. can't remember, I don't think we've seen that particular Gotta get one, this. but things like Complete Crystal Guide. I wish I could just buy it all. Oh, is that yeah. a, that's that's written by, stuff. Um, what's her name? Uh, yeah. Melody? No, this is Uma Sylvie. I don't know who she is, but... Um, she did it, though. Yeah. Oh, wow, this yeah, is there's, for there's your people. Lying around there. Yeah, yeah the okay, one we saw was... They're just so affordable, uh, even though I can't afford everything. Oh, there's another copy of that book, so you want to check which ones are better to condition. Oh, thanks. Yeah. They're, they're so affordable, I should just buy both of them and give okay. one away. Yeah. <laughs> I am so nuts over mm. geology, mineralogy, and lapidary books. Particularly the lapidary books. Lapidary Journal used to teach you how to make these machines at home. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now it's such a secret thing, they want you to think you have to buy these $5,000 machines. Did you, did you see um, where some, somewhere here, I put in a whole load this morning, unless it's sold. No, I don't think it did. Um, there's all sorts of facet cutters, handbook, and um, there's, there's a ton of these sort of things. Old 1950s and 60s faceting books, which are fantastic. Also, 
if you look up the price on these on a books they go for like 40 or 50 dollars. oh absolutely it's a fascinating yeah. renaissance right now yeah uh, but there's there's a bunch of these I'll things. take that jade one for sure. Oh, yeah, the jade one's good. <laughs> yeah. um, and before we leave, I gotta find the, the zeolite, the misunderstood. Yeah, I know what you mean. We just saw it. Right before I knocked over some of your books. There it is. Yeah, I gotta get that one. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could just buy a ball. Ooh, fluorescence and radiation. There's another one of those over here. Ooh, I like that. Oh, absolutely. What is the black dot? Do you know what? what black dot is two dollars. Oh my gosh, you're giving these away. You can't get, you can't buy lunch out there for two dollars. <laughs> yeah, I see the price of lunch there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that one. Yeah, I want to get rid of them. So they, they were. Uh, these were all out last year. Uh, actually, no, no. Eighty percent of them were out last year. Were you set up here last year? Yes, but I was in the, the building last year. Interesting. So we didn't make it over here. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, we maybe went to that the one by the tall building. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't come down over here. I'm yeah. glad that it's really turning into something. Yeah. It is. I mean, this whole area. Well, uh, we haven't been there yet, but I know. Um, What's that guy's name? Ben, he deals with Moroccan stuff and yes. they stay there all year long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was a few years ago. Well, that's good because this town really needed a, uh, a little section of it. Because they're calling it the minimal mile now. That's good, that's yeah. smart. I like that. Yeah, and then Miracle Mile, what's going to happen with that? Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, I like that. The men in coal seems really cool. The coal uh, one? That This I, one. Well, there's a bunch of them. them. That's a great one. Oh, uh, well, I just assume it's too. green. It's got uh, the coal fields of, of the United Some States. Some of my favorite uh, mineral books are the ones that are uh, in black and white and hand illustrated. Because mm -hmm. you will absolutely have the worst yeah. time trying to identify anything in modern times with this uh, hand illustration. I posted, uh, the other day, I posted on Twitter a... Um, picture of an illustration which I found in a in a 1931 book. Now that book isn't, isn't here. We don't. It's, it was actually a friend's book, not one that was selling. So I have to show you this because it is just so great. I would love to. Um, love to see it. The story of borax. So what I heard is, you know, the the 30 was it 40 mule team or something? Uh -huh, yeah, sure. That it was actually a 40 mule team okay that had to oh that's beautiful that is all hand so, illustrated no but it's just so awful oh it <laughs> so, is yeah it, it is looks like candy. Candy. hideous it's scary <laughs> i mean you've got like random tourmaline colors all mixed together there three different shades of beryl on the same specimen it's absolutely <laughs> atrocious yeah like, <laughs> that's like a like an oreo right there. Yeah, like, <laughs> meow wolf style have you yeah. heard of meow wolf yeah. Well, that's the book from um, uh, Minerals, Metals and Gems by Varel. Wonder if Varel's doing the illustrations. No. Yeah, he is. Well, yeah, the photographs. Yeah, he's and, by oh. the author, yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> if you had paid someone to do those, you'd be somewhat disappointed. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, no, there are some beautiful drawings. And um, <clears throat> let's see if I can get There are some. Gotta get this one. It's obviously the ones with the best illustrations tend to go. It's a 40 mule to carry. I think it's 40 mule team or 50 mule team, and they were actually mules. And the song, the Donna Won't You Blow Your Horn, Donna, Donna. Won't You, yeah, Donna Won't You Blow. Donna was a steam engine that replaced the mules. Oh, shit. Donna broke down, and the mules had to drag it out. Oh, wow. <laughs> so much for Donna. Right? You can't, you can't beat the mule team. I, I think they were all female too. You I wonder. Can, you can beat them, but they won't. 
You know, unfortunately, that in America, there's like a few popular ones, like the Crystal Bibles and stuff, and that yes. helps bring people in. But they're after they just get re re like the new editions, there'll be two different colors for mm -hmm. the same book. Yeah, and they're not really doing as much of a service as they could, and some of these don't even have pictures. I, I'm in love with yeah. with I this so much. Already. I'm definitely getting that stack, and I'm going to be picking out a lot more. <laughs> Whoa! And read the bottom. <laughs> it says blue pineapple topaz with penetration stoenite on plate of native silver with gem dravite, large wire silver, which is the squigglies there. Arginite, Octa uh, octahedral gold. Looks like a cartoonist. <laughs> is this for sale? No, I should not say that, that particular one is the original. However, um, I'm I'm trying slowly sorting through the other boxes of his stuff here, and I know that we have um, parts at least of the books that these came from. So there will be the um, um, the actual book that he made with these images in, and there was a whole series of with the stories that go both with them, which are fantastic. Um, it was a joke publication he made for his friends. Uh, just oh, because because it seemed a little while that there were so many things yeah. happening, so many things. I actually thought this was an illustration of something that existed, but he oh, was just. Point, but it's not. It's just complete <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, this um, this gentleman is here working for Mindat or Mindat. And I'm not sure if it's his app. But um, fantastic work. All of this is going to benefit the uh, Mindat, Mindat. What a great service. What are these, like stickers or something? Hilarious. Might as well get them all, right? Just two dollars. There's a bunch more here as well, which um, ignore the prices on these. Um, they're all, whatever the price was, they are $2 now. Fantastic. I love your passion. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna get the black dots now so I can move it like we All right, I'm holding up our good friend over there. Look at his patience over there. Are these all the vendors at Mineral City? Yeah. Best buy of the year so far. Now I just gotta learn how to read. Sprite's gonna teach me. It could happen. It could happen. Teach an old dog new tricks.